Steve Hall here. Check out these highlights and tidbits in surviving life's curves. Kids, they like to go and do things. Some of them like to go to an amusement park. Go to an amusement park, okay? They're trying to squeeze you all in like in a sardine can. And they're trying to squeeze your size 6 ass in a size 5 seat. And you're all scrunched together like little, little, little tight little things. And you go for this little... Sometimes you stand in line for an hour and a half for a minute and a half ride. And then afterwards, you're nauseous anyways. And then they got the areas where they play the games. You know, and I have a thing about giving a child anything to throw. Okay, you got a ball at a pin or a uh, dart at a balloon. Okay, think about it. The safest place for you to stand, if you're throwing the ball at a cup, the, probably the safest place for you to stand is behind the cup. If you're throwing a dart at a balloon, probably the safest place is right in front of the balloon. Anywhere else, you're in this dangerous uh, ricochet zone. You're in the ricochet Men and women are different. For a guy being insane, it kind of works. Being a woman insane is scary. It's scary, okay? But, because men, we're like, we're lost. We're lost in our own little world, whether we're... On the computer, or we're building something, or we're exercising, or we're at work, or something. I mean, we're the type of person who sees a mess in the kitchen at night, and we turn off the light to make it go away. See, simple, complicated, lost. We're completely clueless that that mess is going to be there in the morning. But, you know, we've got a method for that, too. We just kind of close our eyes and we walk by. A little tunnel vision going on here. But we're lost. husband who's lost, and put it with the wife who is complicated. A little bit of chaos there sometimes. But, yeah, we would be lost without them. We would even be more lost without them. I mean, we're lost anyways, but we'd be completely lost without our wives. Uh, we wouldn't do certain things. We, we wouldn't shave. We wouldn't bathe. We wouldn't eat. wouldn't feed the dog. Not sure we'd have a dog. If we had a dog, though, we probably wouldn't know where it was. So, we wouldn't wash anything, clothes, dishes... House would start to smell funny, people would be complaining, neighbors would be throwing air pressures through the window, you know, old people would be walking by with little cans of Lysol, and you always tell in a bachelor's apartment when you open the door, woof, smells like, just smell, does not smell good, okay. We are confusing, we are weird, we are lost, we wouldn't even speak in full sentences if we were not. And women are like, we'd be talking, about, hey, it'd be good. Give me a Come here. Come here. Give me a I want to do something great. Come on. See, men are simple. We're all the same. We, 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 we eat. We sleep. We like to watch movies with kung fu action and machine gun fire and people jumping in the air and blowing stuff up. And the women are complicated. Every woman's different. Some like action. Some like comedy. Some like drama. Some people are really into drama. I mean, we won't go there right now, okay? I got next week. It's in the drama. All the time, but we won't go there, okay? Some people like, some women, they like passion. They like excitement. But, okay, you get the point. But they should come with an instruction manual for us guys. who we're lost, okay? We don't know a clue. We look at women on a daily basis and say, what the freaking heck am I supposed to say? Okay, so we're lost. Anyways, they should come with the instruction manual, and there should be three main rules in there. Three basic rules that all guys need to know. Okay? First of all, guys, you're always guilty. Psst, always guilty. Doesn't matter. Everything's your fault. That's the second one. Everything's your fault. Doesn't matter. It's all your fault. And you didn't do it right. Okay? Whether it's the 9,000th time and it looks perfect, you still didn't do it right. Okay? So you're Always know that these three rules apply to every situation. Okay? Guilty. Your fault. You didn't do it right. So you always know the married guy when you're at work. And something goes wrong and the boss gets upset and starts flipping out, yelling at people and getting in their face. Well, you always know it's him. You, know, you always know the married guy because he's just kind of standing there. Okay? The single guy's sweating it because he's afraid of losing his job. The married guy, he's like, Phew, I get this worse at home. You ain't nothing. Okay? That is guilty. You're always guilty. You're always being guilty. So it goes in like a secondhand nature. You just kind of go with it. All right, fine, fall like yeah, whatever. What did I do? I don't, I don't remember. 
Second thing is, it's always your fault. It's never the woman's fault, okay? The guy could be halfway around the world. Halfway around the world, okay? And it would still be his fault. Dog took a dump on the floor, the car doesn't start, the toilet's plugged up, the refrigerator ain't working, water spilled in the back room in the corner where no one ever goes. It's your fault! You did it! Somehow it's your fault! You're guilty of forgetting. It's my fault, I didn't anticipate it, and I didn't do it right the first time. See, somehow they manipulate it all around and it becomes your fault. So, just accept it. You know the vows in marriage day? It should be love. Honor, obey, and promise to always take the blame. Okay, I can live with it. Sometimes your family is your funniest moments in your life, your most joy. The other day, me and my father we were working on replacing a door on this shed that he's selling this house, and this shed door was all rotted and falling apart. So we thought, oh, we'll replace the door, maybe it'll look better. Gotta help with the sale a little bit. So we're getting out there, we take the old door apart, and it's falling apart, pieces falling everywhere. Funny as hell. I mean, it just, it was literally crumbling in our hands. I don't even know how it stayed on the hinges, but it did. Okay, we were working along, and we got the new door with the new hinges, and we got it all ready to put up. And when you die, you're going, and if it starts to rain. Okay, we live in Florida, rain pops up all the time. It starts to rain down on top of our heads. So I'm working away, I'm still getting wet, I'm like, well, screw it. I'm keep on going unless it's not fun. I turn around, and Dad's wearing this blue rain coat tarp thing that they give you for the maid of the mist thing up in Niagara Falls. Okay, I, I turned to him and I look, I'm like, Dad, man, you, you look like a giant blue condom. I mean, my God, you look like a giant blue condom. He had that blue rubbery thing and it was, and he just kind of looked at me like I was strange, okay? And he's working along, he goes inside the shed, and I, oh, I'm actually screwing the bolts in, in the rain, and I'm not wearing the raincoat. He's actually standing inside the shed in the raincoat, I mean, he was hauling some stuff out there, so he got a little wet, but he's in there, standing inside the shed, just standing there going, boy, it's hot in this thing. Boy, I'm starting to feel hot. He looks over to me and goes, I'm beginning to know how a dick feels. <laughs> so I think it's, I thought that was funny enough. That's what we're going to do. Instruction manual, poor guys. Coming soon to a bookstore near you.